Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. So in this video, we're going to continue in our widget design process. And as you remember from our previous video, we have managed to create uh, a VR, a basic teleport VR pawn by using a simple nodes that uh, help us achieve this process. However, as we have mentioned earlier, that you can add also your uh, very simple uh, or the available virtual reality uh, back uh, inside your project and drag your uh, motion controller of this bag inside the, the scene. So it's, it's, it's basically, it's up to you which one you want to use. This one will be a simple one that we can, you can add and edit more stuff inside it. Uh, such as, for example, more uh, interactive uh, functions to the VR uh, or the motion control bound, the motion controller itself. And the other one actually will be a little bit difficult to go through the uh, lots of nodes and how to disconnect and which one you should disconnect. Uh, it's going to be like a long process on to deal with that one. But now that we have our uh, character bound and the VR teleport bound, we need to find a way uh, how to switch between them so the viewer of this presentation uh, will be uh, simply able to click on these buttons that we have created in our uh, previous video so he can uh, what he can achieve a process which we call uh, possess uh, the bone so we can control this bone inside uh, the scene so to do that we're gonna choose for example our human character and we're gonna go to the on click uh, function and once we hit that we're gonna go to the blueprints and we're gonna drag from the button uh, function get all actors of class and this is basically where we're gonna call our character by its name that we have created in our scene so this bone is called the archivist character so I'm gonna just write arc and here is my character and I'm gonna get a copy from this so I can be able to uh, possess it through this copy so get a copy and then we're gonna call this node possess so if it is not visible we're gonna go to the context sensitive and just press on it and connect this to the good get all actors of class now however we also need to get from this target get player controller so to be able to achieve uh, the movements controller for this bound. For the other one, the VR bound, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna go also to the on click uh, button function and the same thing, get all actors of class. And then we're gonna check our uh, bone name, which is called VR bound. So VR bound and then we're gonna get a copy and the same thing we're gonna possess this character uh, once the button is uh, clicked and also get the player controller okay so now if we hit compile and we hit play and check how this is gonna go so we have a missing widget uh, appearance and that's because from our previous video we have disconnected our uh, widget uh, event uh, begin play so we're just going to connect this and compile this and hit play again and hopefully now it's working yes so and the walkthrough so now this is the human character that we have and if i click on the vr it's basically switching me to the uh, vr bound so we can uh, wear the headset however now we need to actually remove this this widget because it's not going to be actually comfortable when you see this in front of the um, vr headset because it's not actually adjusted to be visible uh, as a 3d widget uh, in front of the headset and we this is where we also get the error for that i'm hoping that's why so I'm gonna go to the walkthrough again and just from the possess we're gonna call this now enable HMD which uh, will enable the headset uh, mounted display 
then make sure that you're gonna click on the enable button so this is basically uh, to enable um, the VR headset once the, the player or the viewer possesses the player another thing is to do is to remove all the widget so I'm gonna call all widget and this is will help us also once we hit play we should be able uh, to have a clean vision of our uh, VR phone so once we uh, wear the headset we're gonna be able to have a clear vision of the project without anything uh, visible inside of it okay so the error is gone that was uh, because of the HMD so now that we have created our um, uh, functions for these two buttons to be able to create them you can actually uh, create uh, another um, let's say another pawn which we're gonna create uh, later on uh, let's say for example if we want to create uh, a drone uh, pawn where it can fly so if your project for example require a flying drone uh, that will help uh, the viewer of this presentation to see uh, check some of the areas that require that requires a flying node so we, we're gonna create this later on but before that actually we need to create some uh, controls functions for the VR bound because currently as you have seen we can actually uh, switch between them or switch from the human character to the VR bound but we currently we are unable to switch back to the human character because we need to set up some controllers on the motion control and also uh, we have a, a variant manager that we also need to adjust and uh, set up uh, some controls over the the motion control another thing that we should mention if you manage to set up these uh, this process inside your widget one of the things that is currently one of the basically it's one of the difficulties that we are facing inside unreal engine i don't know if it's uh, if this is was a bug like it was fixed and uh, it has been fixed inside 4.25 uh, but we have tried this also in 4.25 and that is when you switch from the human character to the vr pawn basically when you wear the headset it's not activated However, if you package this project as we're gonna do later on when we finish our uh, widget, uh, after we finish all the widget uh, buttons and the functions, after packaging your project, you'll be able actually, once you switch, you'll be able to be to use the VR headset when you switch from the human character to the VR one. So this is currently, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's something that we actually are missing. So if someone can discover uh, how, what is exactly the problem behind this, uh, we, you, you can share it actually so uh, we can know what was the problem. But uh, we have tried many times to see, to find a way to solve this and we found out that it's only activated once you uh, package uh, the, product, uh, the project as we're going to see uh, later on. So uh, I hope this video was helpful enough for you to uh, start uh, building up uh, the switching uh, process between your uh, character uh, inside your project. And uh, in the next video, we're going to continue by creating some controls for the VR bound so we can be able actually to go back to the human character. So uh, thank you very much for watching this. And if you, again, if you have any question, please uh, share it in the comments below. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.